Hey guys, I'm Michael Cost, and this is another DIY video, but in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY Zoo Biscuit patch. For this DIY, you'll need embroidery needles, which cost about 50 Rand per pack. Embroidery thread, which is about 7 Rand per color. Now, what's great about this thread is that there are 6 strands that make up the one thread. It's like Jacob Zuma, one president, but 6 wives. You'll also need a pair of scissors. An embroidery ring which costs about 30 rand. Dual fusion which is 30 rand per meter. I strongly suggest against this. It's better to get an iron on backing. Some embroidery material which is also about 30 rand per meter. Denim clothing item. Now Cotton On sent me these skinny jeans so I'm going to use them for this DIY. And of course, some zoo biscuits for some inspiration and a snack while you work. Start by taking the embroidery material and cutting it to the size of the ring. As you can see, I've already been experimenting, but to take the small ring, put it on the bottom of the material and the big ring on top, then tighten the embroidery ring and stretch the material over it. Now, I like to keep the excess material on the sides so that I can be stretching it while I'm sewing. I took a matchbox to draw the outline and the size of the Zoo Biscuit patch. I then took a pencil and started drawing it. Now because of the studio lights I couldn't really see the pencil drawing so I took a marker and drew the outlines. I then took a Zoo Biscuit as inspiration for the Zoo Biscuit animal. Take your cotton and thread it just a little bit through the needle like so and then on the other side do a double knot so that when you start stitching the thread doesn't pull through the material. Start from the underside of your material and start stitching. There are many different ways to stitch but I decided to do a side stitch. Now remember that you must only stitch the colors where the color should be. When the thread is finished then split the thread in half. Three strands, three strands. Take one of the halves and stitch it underneath your last stitch that you did. Take the two halves and then do a double knot. Once you've done that double knot, make sure you cut off the excess thread and then start with a new thread. Continue sewing all the colors on the patch. You'll probably feel yourself tapping into your inner old white lady from Downton Abbey, but that's fine because it will probably help you in the long run. Once you've finished the patch, you can then take the embroidery rings off and cut the patches out of the embroidery material. But remember to leave about a centimeter space around the patches like so. And here is where my trouble set in. Turn the patch on the back side and cut a size of dual fusion and place it on top. Now I couldn't iron this on so I had to put it in the microwave. But putting the dual fusion in the microwave caused a bit of problems as it started to burn a little. This is not the best solution so it's better if you can find and iron on embroidery backing. Now start to cut your patch out a little bit more but I decided to give a five millimeter border around my patch because the dual fusion didn't strengthen the material the way it should have. Take some black thread and stitch the borders of your patch. Now these stitches are like loops from the front to the back of the patch and it helps to encapsulate the embroidery material so that it doesn't fray. And there you have it, a total cost of a patch is probably about 20 to 30 rand. I also made a banana patch because I call my subscribers bananas. Place the patch on the clothing item where you want it, then take a lappy, which is a cloth and iron. Now the dual fusion took forever to actually melt, that's why an iron on backing is a lot better. And there you have it, my ass, it looks great, I mean, I mean the patch looks great. Thanks Cotton On for sending me these jeans, I really like them. And there you have it, I put my banana patch on my shirt and this was a lot of fun but took hours. Just remember if you make mistakes during the process or the patch doesn't turn out the way you wanted it to turn out, it's fine. That's the whole point of DIY. I mean, I made so many mistakes just making this video. The chances are really high that your patch won't turn out exactly how you wanted it, but don't worry, like isn't like exclusive books. Your patches won't be recalled because you sew like Bonan. Go down to the comment section below and let me know which one of my shady jokes was your favorite, or if you have a suggestion for a future DIY video that you want me to do, you can leave that down there as well. Make sure to click that subscribe button and bell icon for more South African inspired videos 
every Michael Mondays. And until next time, bye bananas. Wait, I have a question. Why do zoo biscuit animals never actually look like animals?